Welcome LaunchCart users. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add categories. This is a step that is optional, but we recommend doing it early on if you are going to use them. Now, the reason you would use categories is it gives you a little bit more functionality when it comes to customizing your theme. It also allows your store visitors an easier way to browse your site because when they go to your store's homepage or your shop page, they'll be able to browse by category. So if you have a lot of products or maybe you have 10 or 20 products, um, and maybe half of those are men's and half of those are women's, it would be nice to categorize those. And so the reason we create these categories early on is we want to have them ready so that when we add a product, we can assign those products to a category instead of creating a product first and then having to go create the categories later and then having to go re-edit the product and assign that product to a category. So I don't want to confuse you. I'm going to make this very simple. I'm signed into the, my launch cart admin panel and I went to products, categories, and let's just create some. So this is totally up to you how you do it. I'm going to give you a few ideas, but on my store, I'm going to have some men's and women's products. So the first category I'm going to create is a parents category called men's. I'm going to put in a description and then you hit create. So we have one parent category, and then I'm going to create a sub or child category called t-shirts underneath that. And this will be for products that I create that are only for men and they happen to be t-shirt products. And you just need to select men's right here and it will turn this category into a subcategory. So now you can see here's my men's category. And if I click on this little arrow, It'll drop down and show you my subcategories so I can continue on. And it really depends on what type of products I want to offer. If you're selling print on demand, you have hundreds of products available. You've probably seen those videos yet. If you haven't, they're coming up uh, within this course. But you can create t-shirts, you can create apparel, you know, you can create, um, I mean, just, just about anything. Shorts and pants and sweaters and pullovers and long sleeves and so on and so on. So really you want to kind of get an understanding of what you're going to sell and then try to create a very short and concise list of categories. You don't need to put hundreds of categories here. That's going to make your store way too confusing for the user. Just keep this as short as possible. And just remember, we want to make it easy for the end user or your store's visitor to find which products they're looking for. So now let me go ahead and create a women's category. And there we go. And I'm going to do the same thing, except this time, instead of t-shirts, I'm going to do leggings. And I'm going to choose women's, so it goes underneath that one. There we go. And, okay, so now we have two parent categories. And we have leggings down here. And if I expand this one, we have t-shirts here. So this, like I said, we, you know, really recommend you do this before you create products. Because now, if I create a product... And I'm going to run through this process really, really fast. I'm not going to explain hardly anything, but I am going to create a t-shirt because I want to show you what happens at the very end of this product, which is where we'll assign this product to a category. So let me just speed through this process really, really fast. I'm going to leave everything using the default settings. And what you do is when this product is submitted to your launch cart store, which it's doing it right now, it's going to take a few seconds, it's going to end up, uh, you're going to be back in the launch cart and you're going to be on the product editor and we're going to have to scroll down to the bottom of the page and assign this product to a category. You don't have to, but once again, it's recommended. So let's scroll down to the very bottom and here we go. This happens to be a men's product and it happens to be a t-shirt product and that's it. You just hit save and you're good to go. So now when somebody's viewing our store, they'll be able to browse by categories and find products that are assigned to these categories. So that's it. That's how simple it is. Let's go on to the next video.